Hi, my name is Collins and I am a chicken farmer. On this video today, I want to share with you how to vaccinate a Lasota vaccine to your chicken. Lasota vaccine is a vaccine we use for prevention of a Newcastle disease. And the Newcastle disease is a disease that when it attacks your chicken or when it occurs in your farm, it will, it will wipe all your chicken within a short period of time. So, and uh, because we don't know when it will attack our chicken, we are to vaccinate them a uh, Lasota vaccine. And uh, we usually vaccinate them this uh, Lasota vaccine so that it will help to prevent uh, those diseases from attacking our chicken whenever it occurs. So, and uh, how we administer this vaccine is in the water. And we usually give it to this uh, chicken once in a month. And uh, how I usually do it in my farm, whenever I give them uh, this uh, Lasota vaccine, I usually write it down so that I will be able to remember the next time I'm to give them another one. So, and uh, I gave them a uh, uh, second October last month, and uh, this is the uh, second November. So, I gave it to them again. So, that is once in a month. And uh, how do we handle this uh, Lasota vaccine? Well, this uh, Lasota vaccine, it usually expires within a short period of time. So you have to handle it carefully. And uh, we usually give it to our chicken before the sun sets. And the uh, sun usually affects this uh, Lasota. Even when you buy it from a veterinary shop, they will put it in an ice to protect the vaccine. And also, make sure that the vaccine don't come in touch with the sun or heat. So don't keep it in a heat environment. And uh, whenever they sell the vaccine to you, they usually put it in an ice uh, block to protect the vaccine. And uh, I usually vaccinate my chicken very early in the morning. After I am done giving them food, I will starve them water. I won't give them water and uh, I will rush to pick this vaccine. And uh, after I am done uh, picking the vaccine from where I am buying it from, then that is very early in the morning. No? Depending on how many chicken you have, that is what will determine how many uh, dose you will give them. Like if you have a, a hundred chicken, you can give them 200 dose of Lasota. If you have like 1,000 chicken, you can give them 2,000 dose of Lasota, depending on how many chicken you have. And uh, for the quantity I usually give to my chicken, they are 142 in number, but I usually administer 200 dose to them. Like this bucket now that you are seeing here is what I use to measure the water that I use in vaccinating my uh, 142 layers chicken. So it is depending on how many chicken you have that will determine the quantity of water that you are going to use. And uh, make sure that the water you will give them, they will finish it uh, before uh, 30 minutes to one hour so that the vaccine will not uh, expire or maybe it will spoil after then. So you have to prevent it from expiring and uh, make sure that you give them uh, the water that they will finish before one hour or 30 minutes as i have said now how i usually do it is when you are opening the vaccine you are to open it inside the water you shouldn't open it outside the uh, water you should open it inside the water and then shake it inside the water make sure you like you empty the uh, vaccine inside the water then you now turn it then after you are done turning the vaccine and the water together you now share it in their drinkers and then before you even go to buy this vaccine make sure you have done washing those drinkers so that immediately you come back you just uh, put it in the water and uh, transfer it to their drinkers then you share it to the chicken Make sure you don't vaccinate a sick chicken because this uh, vaccine is very strong. It might affect the chicken and it might not survive it. So make sure you don't vaccinate a sick bird. Assuming your chicken are sick, 
I will advise you not to vaccinate them. For me, whenever my chicken is sick, I don't usually vaccinate them. I always wait till they are done recovering from that sickness before I vaccinate them. As you are administering those water to your chicken, make sure that it doesn't come in touch with sunlight. Make sure you keep it where uh, there is no sunlight. That is how I usually do it in my farm. Then after 30 minutes to one hour, they are done drinking those water and then I will now remove those drinkers. I will now wash it again and then I will now put another water for them. I will put another clean water for them in their drinkers. Now, here in my farm, after I am done giving them those vaccines, I usually give them a multivitamin in the next water that I will be giving them. And uh, this is the multivitamin. I have multivitamin with me. This is the multivitamin I usually give to them in their water. And uh, this multivitamin is very rich. They have different types of multivitamin which you can give to them. Like I usually give them this for one week after I am done vaccinating them. This multivitamin is very rich in vitamin C and the other uh, supplement. And this uh, vitamin is very costly. They have the ones of 2000 plus. They have the ones of 3000 plus. They have the ones of 5000 plus, I think. But this one is 12,000. So it's depending on the type of vitamin you want to use, but the content are not the same. This one, it have high content and it will help those chicken to lay more eggs. And uh, this vitamin in particular, it usually help to fight a uh, heat stress in chicken, like this particular vitamin. And it will always help to prevent those chicken from pecking each other. So, after I am done giving them this uh, vitamin for like one week, I'll now withdraw like one week and then give them uh, the next two weeks. So it is very important that you give them a uh, vitamin with a high content. Like this uh, multivitamin have a high content and it will help to boost up their production. This is how I do vaccinate Lasota vaccine to my chicken for prevention of a Newcastle disease, which is a deadly disease. So I usually vaccinate them to prevent a Newcastle disease from attacking my chicken whenever it occurs. And I will advise every other farmers out there to follow the procedure as I just explained in this video. And if there is any place that you didn't understand in this video, you can ask me questions in the comment section and I will be there to give you the correct answer to your question. So thank you for watching. My name is Collins and I am a poultry farmer as I said earlier in this video. I keep a layers chicken for egg production. So you can subscribe in this channel for more poultry tips. Subscription is free. You don't pay any penny to subscribe in the channel. You can subscribe for more videos so that you get notified whenever I upload a video. Thank you for watching and I would like to see you in my next video. Also, like this video if you find it interesting. One love.